Ide TV KPM Ide TV KPM Time to do my mathematics homework. Let's see. Ah, this looks easy. 8 plus A equals... Th A? Why is there a letter in this mathematics equation? Isn't mathematics all numbers? How much is A? Uh, 8 plus A? Oh no. How do I do this? I think it's 8. What is A? Hi everyone, welcome to Slot Tahab Duo only on Didet TV KPM for today's lesson Mathematics DLP. Now for this episode, we have teacher Ziana as our sign language interpreter for today. Thank you very much teacher Ziana. And of course, like you just saw earlier for today's mathematics lesson, I'm here together with Mr. Ragu. Hi, hi, sir. Hi, everyone. Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. Okay. Yeah, hey. Well, uh, before we proceed, uh, Mr. Mr. Ragu, yeah. a classroom will not be complete without classmates. Am I correct? Exactly, Chris. So, who are our classmates on Google Meet for okay, today? Okay, let's introduce them. Go ahead. Okay, we have... Uh, Charu Viswanathan from SK Bukit Bandaraya Bangsa KL. Hi Charu. Hi Charu. Okay. okay. Next we have Manoj Rao Gangadharan from SJKT Vivekananda Brickfield Kuala Lumpur. Hi, Hi Manoj. Manoj. Okay. okay. Next yeah. we have uh, Muhammad Wan Ahmad Nijat bin Wan Asmizan and Alisha Dura Binti Huzaimi from SK Banda Tu Nusenon Tu Ceras Selango. Hi, hi, hi Alisha. Nijat. Hi, Alisha. Hi, okay. Nijat. Okay. All right. So everybody looks ready, but I need to ask them as well, Mr. Ragu. So are you ready for today's uh, mathematics lesson? If you're ready, give me a double thumbs up. Yes. Very good. Okay. Everyone now I is ready. So, sir, okay. earlier like you saw, uh, I was very confused. Yes, Chris, you're having problem just now. Exactly. There is a alphabet in the number centers. Yeah. Usually, number centers are full with numbers. Is Why there is an alphabet? Why, sir? This Why? is what we call unknown number in ah, mathematics. Okay. Uh, so today, what we're going to learn is unknown number in All division. Right. But before that, I'm going to teach you what this unknown number is. Okay. It's a basic concept. I will solve your problem first, Chris. Okay. We can. look at that question. Uh, what is the question, Chris? Can you eight, eight plus a plus a equals ten. Equals to equals to ten. 10. Okay. Uh -huh. How am we going to find a? What is the answer for a? In addition, if you want to find the unknown number, we have to take the answer and minus all the numbers there. Okay. So in this case, to find a. You have to take 10 and minus 8. Oh. Yeah, so 10 minus 8 is 2. Okay, A is equivalent to 2. Now, let's check whether the 2 is correct or not. Okay. Please. Okay, 8 plus 2. Uh, can we ask the kids hello? Okay, sure. Okay, uh, Charu, uh -huh. what is 8 plus 2? 8 plus 2 equals to 10. Thank you, Charu. 8 plus 2 is equivalent to 10. Means this number sentence is correct. Ah. So the answer for the unknown number is 2. I see. Ah, this is how oh. we find the answer for unknown number. Okay, okay now, now let's look at the slide. Okay. I have a few more questions to explain. Sure. Oh, you can press down. Okay. okay. All right. We right. Let's look at the next question. Sure. Whoosh. This looks a bit challenging, but yeah. I'm sure Mr. Ragu can help us. Okay, let's look at the first this. question. 9, Nine minus, B minus B equals, to, equals four. to 4. 4. Okay, unknown number in subtraction, if you want to find the second number, usually in subtraction, the first number is the biggest number. Okay. So to find the answer for the second number, 
you have to take the biggest number which is the first number and minus all the other numbers including the answer so here we have 4 so you have to minus 4 so b is equivalent to 9 minus 4 is 5 let's ah. check the answer whether the 5 is correct or not okay okay can we ask our student uh, manoj 9 minus 5 is it 4 manoj yes sir very oh. good thank you for the correct answer manoj so the answer is correct okay. so the answer for the unknown is five, five. So okay, let's try five. one more question sure so the next one is using multiplication, multiplication. So uh, can you read the question for me chris sure sir three three times c times c equals to 15. equals to 15. okay okay in multiplication if you want to find the unknown number the biggest number in multiplication is the answer so you have to take the answer and divide with another number so to find C, we take 15 and divide with 3. Mm. So 15 divided with 3. Kids at home, can you help me? Uh, Nijat, what is 15 divided with 3? 15 divided with, with 3 equals to 5. Very good, Nijat. Thank you for the correct answer again. 5. Let's take the answer. 3 times 5. Is it 15? Uh, Alicia, can you help me, Alicia? Yes, sir. Very good, thank you. So C is equivalent to 5. five. Okay, okay, one more question. Alright. So the question number 3 is M minus 10 equals to 20. M minus 10 equals, equals to, to 20. 20. Okay, as I said just now, for division, so for multi, for subtraction? subtraction, the biggest number is the first number. So if you want to find the answer for the first number, you have to plus all the numbers, including the answer. Ah, so to find okay. M, you have to take 20 plus with 10. So M is equivalent to 30. Ah, Let's check the okay. answer. Uh, Manoj, 30 minus 10. What is the answer, Manoj? 30 minus 10 is equal to 20. Very mm. good. Then this number sentence is correct. So uh. the answer for the unknown number M is 30. So this is how yep. we find answer for Four. the unknown numbers. There you go. Okay, so pupils, we will be taking a short break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Mr. Ragu here on Tahap Dua, Direct TV, KPM. everyone, welcome to Slot Tahap Dua Didet TV KPM and today we are focusing on Mathematics DLP and also for today's episode, we are here together with Teacher Noor Ziana as our Sign Language Interpreter for this episode. Thank you very much Teacher Ziana and of course for our lesson on Unknown in Division, I'm here together with Four pupils as well as our teacher, Mr. Ragu. Okay. Uh, so, sir, what are we going to be doing in okay. this next segment, sir? Okay. Next, we're going to do unknown number in division. Okay. Okay. I'm going to use some tools to explain to you the concept of unknown number in division. Sure. Okay. Before that, let's look at the slide for the first question. Okay. Okay. A teacher has 10 pencils. Okay. We have pencils here. All right, I have a 10 pencils here. All right. Okay, he has to put some number of pencil in two containers. We have two containers here. Okay, and how many pencil do I have to put in each container? Okay, let's put it together, uh, Chris. Okay. One, one here and one here. One here. Okay. Another one here. Two. All right. Another one here. Three. So we have to divide equally in division. Equally. Whatever we do, we must do equally. Okay. Four. Four. And four. Five. Five. Okay. Oh, sir, I oh, think you I started... Need, I need one more pencil. Oh. Ah! This, the pencil this, is there. There's the one more All pencil. Right. Yeah, yeah, because okay. I was doing my homework with this earlier. Ah, okay. okay, we okay. have okay. five pencils in each. All right. So, for number sentence for this question is 10 divided with A. Because some number of pencil in two containers is equal to 2. So, how to find A? So, to find A means in each container there are... 
How many pencil, Chris? One, two, three, One, four, two, five. Three, four, so five. There are five. So we have five pencils. Yeah. So the answer for unknown number A is five. Ah. Oh, okay. okay. So okay. this is for the first question. Let's All look right. at the second question. Okay, now we have erasers. Okay, we put away the pencils. Okay. Okay, so, we have erasers here. Okay, uh, a teacher need a certain number of eraser. I don't know what is the certain number. So that one we will put C as the unknown. Ah, to be okay. given to nine people. So we need nine, nine uh, papers nine, here. Can nine you please arrange uh, for me? Can. Uh, one, two, two. Okay, go ahead. Continue. With, uh, you can continue reading. All right. All nine each people. Three. All right. Four, five, six, seven, seven eight. Eight and one more, nine. Okay. Okay, we have nine pupils here. So, okay, each pupils will get three erasers. So, what I'll do, this is the erasers that I have. Okay. I'll put three erasers in each packet. So, it's considered each pupil. Okay. So, one, one two, two, three. three. In division, this is what we call grouping. Group so we group three, three, three. Okay. Okay, another three. One, two, two. three. One, two, three. One, two, three. three. Chris, you can help me, Chris? Yep. Three. Okay. So you can put in one group. One, two, and three. Okay, another three. Okay, another three over here. Okay, another three over here. And we have two more pupils. Another three. Okay. And another three. Okay. Okay, so now each pupil have get three erasers. So what the question one is, how many erasers are there? The certain number of erasers that we have. So we have to total up everything. So oh. three, 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 three. When you add up, you will get... 27 erasers. Ah. So the answer for the unknown number C is 27. Okay, I understand. All right. Okay, we, let's go for the another Next question. question. Okay. Okay, we can take out the erasers. All right. So, Mr. Ragu, yeah. even for the unknown, yeah. does it matter on what alphabet we decide to Any give Any alphabets. We can put alphabets. We can also put a star as an unknown also can. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, let's look at this question, Chris. There are 20 marbles divided equally to four brothers. So, we need four plates here. Okay. Represent the four brothers. All right. And we have 20 marbles here. Okay, so each of them will get... Uh, you have to divide these 20 marbles to four of them. Okay. So can you divide one for each? Okay, can. Alright, let's Chris do it. So, one, one two, three, and four. Right. Okay, so these are the... And, oh, until we, we finish it, right, sir? Okay, yeah, okay. until you finish all the marbles. Because okay. all together, there are 20 marbles. I feel like you I divide th into four of them. I feel like I'm playing chonka. One, ah, two, okay. three, four. One. Two, three, four, okay. Two, three, four, and we have what? Last four. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, done. The four brothers okay. have got their marbles. So now this is unknown number also, mm. but the unknown number is at the answer. Okay. So 20 divided with four is equivalent to V. So to find V, each of them get how many marbles? Can you help me to count, Chris? Mm, one, two, three, four. Five. Very good. So five. Is it five. all the same? Yes. Oh, each of so them get everyone five. get equally. So the answer for the V is five. Each uh -huh. of them will get five marbles. Okay. So this is how in real life situation we will use unknown number. Okay. Understood. Okay, Chris. I think the kids at home have learned. Have, I everyone think understood? Everyone let's ready? Let's check them. Okay. We'll we give them some them. questions. Okay. okay. For the task, we have four envelopes here with different colors. Okay. Okay, kids, you have to choose one color for you. All and right. there are questions in this envelope. Okay. okay. And you have to answer the question and you have to explain how you get the answer. All right. Okay, let's go for Manoj. What color do you want, Manoj? Green. 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 Okay. okay. So the, the question is... Okay, Mr. Chris will read your questions for you. All right. Let's see. What is your question? Okay, this is a question. Ten okay, divide. I will read for you. 10 divided with 5 equals to M. Manoj, you can write the question and okay. you can start doing it. Alright, so while Manoj is okay. writing, let's Alicia, choose Alicia, what colour do you want, Alicia? 
Red. Red. Okay. I'll okay. give you red. Okay. So Alicia, your question is. Let's see. Okay. Nine divided by a equals to three. Okay, Nine divided by a equals to three. All right. Oh, Nijat, what color do you want, Nijat? Yellow. Yellow. Okay. Let's see, Nijat. Your question is. Where's the question? Oh, okay, okay, it's over here. <laughs> 25 divided by A equals to 5. Okay, Nijat? Okay, Nijat? Okay. I'm oh, yeah. very sorry, Charu. You have only one color to choose. Is it okay with you, Blue? No, no choice. <laughs> it's okay, okay picture. All right, okay. thank you, Charu. Okay, and Charu, your question is C divided by 8 equals to 2. Okay. So, everyone got your questions? Let's check their answers, uh, sir. What do you what do you say? All Should right, we check can, can, our can. first? Who Manoj first, right? Okay, kids at home. If you have done, show me your thumbs up. Oh, okay. Well, very fast. Done. Oh, okay. All right, good. Nice. Okay, we will start with Alicia. Can you explain your answer, Alicia? Hmm. A divided by nine divided by A equal to three. To find A, we have to 9 divided by 3. So, the answer we'll get is 3. The answer is 9 divided by 3 equals to 3. Very good, Alicia. Thank you for the correct answer. We will reward you with one star. One star. Okay. All right. Okay, let's see. Okay. Your yeah, next answer. Okay, the next. Uh, Charu, the floor is yours. My question. Uh, you don't shake it, Charu. Okay. Uh, hold it. Okay, good. My question is, C divided 8 equals 2. To find C, we need to multiply 8 with 2. So the answer is 16. So let's check our answer to see if it's right or wrong. So 16 divided by 8 equals 2. So the answer Very is Very right. good, Charu. Thank you for the correct answer. We will good give job. you one star, Charu. Okay, for, okay, for Nijat and Nijat, Manoj, you can start, you can, Nijat. You can show your answer on the screen as well. Then we can check it together. Okay. All 25, right. 25 divided by 8. A equals to 5. To get the answer, we need to divide 25 by 5. We get 5. A equals to 5. Very good, Nijat. Thank you for the correct answer. We will reward you with one star. Nice. And last but not least, Manoj, the floor is yours. My question is 10 divided by 5 equals M. So we need to divide 10 and 5. 10 divided by 5 equals to 2. So M is equal to 2. Thank you for the correct answer, Manoj. We will reward you one star. Yes, good okay. job, everyone. All right, pupils, we will take a short break. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back only here on Direct TV, Slot Tahap 2, Mathematics DLP. Okay, one, two, three. Hi everyone, welcome to Slot Tahab Duel only on d TV KPM and today we are focusing on Mathematics DLP with the topic of Unknown in Division together with our four friends on Google Meets as well as Mr. Rago. Okay, sir, yes. you're ready right? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I want to ask our friends watching as well. Are you ready for today's lesson? If you're ready, give us a thumbs up. Okay, Very awesome. Very good. Everybody is ready. So what okay. are we learning next, sir? Okay, next what we're going to do is unknown in division, unknown number within 1 million. Now we're going hmm. to deal with big numbers. Oh, wow. Just now we just teach the concept with small numbers so okay. that the kids will understand what is unknown is. Okay? Right. All right, let's look at the first question that I'm going to explain. 1,800. Yeah. Divided by G. Divided by G, which is the unknown. Okay. Equivalent to? 18. 18. So, as I told you just now, in division, the first number is the biggest number. To find the second number, uh, this is what we call dividend, this is divisor, and the answer for division, we call it quotient. quotient. Okay? So, to find the divisor, so we have to take the first number and divide with the answer. 
So to find G, you have to take 1800 divided with 18. So here you can cut divide with 18 1 divide with 18 1. So G is equal to 100. Wow. Okay, if we check the answer, 1800 divided with 100 is equal to 80. 80. Okay. Okay, let's look at the second question. All right. So oh. the next one is so instead of G now we're using Y. Yes. So it doesn't it matter can which be alphabet. Anything. Can okay. be G, can be Y, can be star. Ah, okay. Can okay. be a circle. Also can ah, unknown right. number. Okay. The second question is Y divide with twenty three equal to one hundred forty four. One hundred forty four. Okay. Okay. As I said just now, in division, the first number is the biggest number. To find the answer for the first number. You have to multiply all the numbers, including the answer. So to find what to find y, you have to take 144, multiply with 23. Then only you will get answer for the unknown number. Mm. So here the kids can do standard written method, Chris. Okay. So they can take 144 times with 23. 4 times 3, 12. 4 times 3, 12. Plus 1, 13. 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1, 4. 4 times 2, you must write below 2, 8. 4 times 2, 8. 1 times 2 is 2. So when you add these two, you will get 2, 11, 13, and 3. So the answer for Y is equal to 3,000. 312. Wow. You can check the answer. Later you can take 300, 3,312 and you divide with 23, you will get 144. Okay. This is how we check back our answer. Understand? Understand? All right. Can we look at one more question, Chris? Sure, sir. All right. The next one, let's see what do we have here. We have 3,530, 300, uh, 3,500 divided by 35. 3,500? Yep. Divided. Divided with? With 35. 35. Equals to S. Equals to? S. S. Yeah. Okay. So to find answer here, the S is the answer. So what you have to do is, you have to take 3,500 or 3,500 and divide with 35. You can do it in standard written method. Yeah. And also you can do it in fraction form. Okay, fraction form is the easiest way. So where we divide with 35, you get 1. Here you divide with 35, you get 1. So S is equal to 100. 100. Okay, so understood. when you take 3,500, you divide with 100, you will get... Sorry, you take 3,500, divide with 35, you will get 100. 100. Okay, everyone understand? Kids at home, if you understand, can you show me your thumbs up? There you ah, go. Okay, very good. Okay, one more last example. Okay. Okay, one more last example. Let's see, what is the next example? Then after that, uh, Chris, we test the kids with some questions. Ah, okay, get ready everybody. All so right, the last Zach, one. Divided, divided with 1,000 1, 000 equals to 35. Equals to 35. Yep. Okay, here we're going to find the answer for the first number in division, mm. which is the dividend. Uh, can we ask the kids at home? Sure. Uh, who can help me? What operation do we need to do? Uh, anybody? Yes, Alicia. So to we find the to first multiply. answer, what we must do? We have to multiply. Thank you, Alicia. Very good. Uh, Manoj, what we must multiply? Jan, 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 jan. 1,000 uh, multiply with 35. Thank you, Manoj. So to find the answer for Zach, 1,000 multiply with 35. Okay. And you will get answer 35,000. Okay. Kids right. at home, can you understand all these questions? Understand, sir. I understand. No, we cannot uh, oh, trust them. We cannot must trust them. test them must with test. questions. Okay. okay. So what are the questions? All right. For this segment, yep. we have four questions here. Okay. And Mr. Chris will choose a question for you. Okay, sure. Okay, the first question is for Manoj. Okay, Manoj, your question is... Two, 625 divided by 25 equals to V. Okay? So you can start doing that right now. And next one, let's go, um, is for, let's choose Alicia. Yeah, okay. Alicia. Okay, Alicia. Your question is, 820 divided by Z equals to 205. Okay, you got that, Alicia? Okay. okay. And okay, next question is for who? Alright, next question for Nijat. Nijat, okay. 
Nijat, your question is 1250 divided by y equals to 625. Okay, Nijat? All right. Last but not least for Charu. Okay. And the next one is your question is R divided by 15 equals to 115. Okay, R divided by 15 equals to 115. Okay, so once you are finished with the answer, I want everybody to just show your answers on the screen, on the camera, so that Mr. Ragu can check it together, okay? Okay. Alright, so, what, but for this kind of question, sir, what, what is something that we need to pay attention to? Okay, like, like uh, you have to look at the unknown question. Okay. What type of number centers? Is it involving addition, subtraction, yep. multiplication or division? Then you have to think. If mm. it's a division means, you have to do two operations. Okay. Like, to find the first answer, you have to multiply. Yeah. To ah, find okay. the second number in division, you have to divide. All right. Okay. Thank you very much for those tips, sir. Okay, so everybody show us your answers on the camera. Okay, maybe they, they still need time. Do you see that? Okay, so Alicia is done. Uh, so maybe, sir, let's okay, just check. Okay, we check, check the answer and yep. we can give them star. Okay. okay. Uh, Alicia, can you show me your answer? Okay. And what is... Okay, is, is so this? you divide. Very good. To find the second answer, you must divide. The answer, 205. And you have rechecked again the answer. It's correct, Alicia. Correct. We will give one star for Alicia. Good Thank job. you, Alicia. Very okay. good. Okay, and the next one. Okay, next Ever one, uh, Manoj. Everyone, just show up your answer. Just, just show your answer, yep. everyone. Okay. Okay, 25 divide, uh, 6 to 5 divide with 25. You have divide in standard return method and the answer is 25. Very good, Manoj. Good job, Correct Manoj. Correct answer. Okay, one Thank star. Thank you, Manoj. Next, uh, Nijat. Let's check Nijat's answer. Okay, Nijat, can you bring a little bit center? Uh, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, okay that's good. Okay, 1250 divide with Y is 6 to 5. So to find the answer of why 1250 divide with 6 to 5, the answer is 2 is correct answer, Lija. Good Very job. Good. Okay. Okay, the last but not least, uh, Charu. Okay, uh, R my divide with 15 is 115. You multiply it and you get the answer. Uh, 115, 1725 is the correct answer, Charu. Thank you for the correct answer, Charu. All right. So, good job, everyone. So, with that, we have come to the end of today's mathematics yes. lesson. Good job. And we will see you guys next time only on Delete TV. Okay, but before that, I have to ask Mr. Ragu. Yeah. What, how did our pupils do for this activity? They have done superb. Superb. Okay, superb. All Very right. Good. And how can Keep we it up? And also mathematics, we need to do a lot of exercises, Yes, right? we have to need, do a lot so of practice. So how can we get practice our, makes perfect. our more exercises for today? Yes, okay. To do more exercises, you can find a lot of exercises in the Lima KPM website. The, the Lima yeah. KPM website. Well, with that, I want to say thank you very much to our pupils as well as Mr. Ragu. And we will see you again next time only on Dire TV KPM. Bye! Bye-bye!